93.3 WMMR. That is Echo Lynn from their new CD that just came out. And the uh, band is with us tonight. We have Brett Cole, guitar and lead vocals. Hello. And Ray Weston on the lead vocals. Good evening. Chris Busby, keyboards and backup vocals. Hello. Paul Ramsey, drums and percussion. Hi. And Tom Hyatt on bass. Good evening. Welcome to Street Beat. We have the whole band here. You uh, had a little bit of a stroll all the way from West Point, Pennsylvania. Yep. Out nice there in my old foot stomping grounds. <laughs> I've already determined that two of the members and I worked at the same place. Dipping ice cream, right? Yeah, yeah. It was our first job. Playing the great pumpkin. What, what about the name? Were you always known as Echo Lynn? Well, actually, uh, a band that I was in before that Ray, Paul, and I were in, we did covers. It was called Narcissus. But uh, the name Echo Lynn I just thought of, um, I wanted it to represent specifically us and nothing else. And it doesn't mean anything but us. So when people hear the name... Of course, they, you know, think of us, and that's it. So, and there I you think go. that was a nice three-syllable word, you know. Uh-huh. <laughs> Easy to chant at conferences. <laughs> well, you already had one CD out, and now you have another one. We just heard a song from that called Winter Through, and uh, you, you brought your instrument, so you're going to perform something live for us in a few minutes. Mm -hmm. Let me ask you about this new CD that you have, Suffocating the Bloom. What does that mean? Well, uh, the bloom represents uh, childhood invention, uh, purity, um, integrity uh, that's in all of us as we grow up and I just feel and, I, and all of us feel strongly in the band that it's it's squandered and squashed as we as we grow older uh, through outside influences uh, and that's in the music business and any other kind of business also and I just we all feel it's a shame you know it's a shame that that happens and uh, we wanted to write about uh, the things and the people that that kind of ruin that for other people and talk about also uh, the lack of integrity in a lot of business today and we just wanted to bring that to a light well we have uh, you all set up here you've got your instruments this is echo lynn on street beat <laughs> If they're not allowed to go, they'll surely fall.
Very nice. <laughs> Echo Lynn is our uh, guest tonight, and we have all the members of the band here. You say in your uh, bio that each song begins with a thought or a feeling, and it's considered finished when that idea is developed fully. So, um, <clears throat> let's see, we're going to play another song from the CD, Here I Am. Would you like to elaborate a little bit on that whole concept with that particular song? Well, I had a, I had a nice spot on the steps watching these guys write this song, and uh, watching them try to write things that they couldn't play. And mm -hmm. it just developed, which is usually the case, <laughs> <laughs> developed a lot of frustration in me watching their faces get red, scream and holler and, you know, have a hard time. So I just went back into my past and went over the different years that I squandered and wasted and tried to put them all down in words. And I figured by the end of the time that they finished playing this song, I'd have a good idea with what to go with. And here I am. Hmm. Basically popped out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well let's give this one a go and uh, then we'll talk a little bit more with Echo Lynn. This is a song called Here I Am from their brand new CD, Suffocating the Bloom on Street Beat. Here I Am from their brand new CD, Suffocating the Bloom on Street Beat.
That is Echo Lynn, our guest tonight on Street Beat. Here I am from their new CD, Suffocating the Bloom, and I have all five members with me here. Your your music is very unique for this area. We don't I don't really get any other bands. I don't think I've ever gotten any other demo tapes with your particular style of music. Mm -hmm. You say that every style of music is your influence, but there must be, you know, a couple bands that you really, really love and, and... Yeah, I think what it comes down to is when you're listening to music all through your life, I mean, we've all come from different backgrounds, different experiences, and just the cultures that we live in, that when you're going to write music and come up with original or creative ideas, that everyone is going to bring something to the band. Like Brett mentioned before, that's what Echo One is. It's all five of us. And musically, we all just have things that we bring into that to create Echo One and who we are. That's uh, Chris, the keyboard player, speaking. <laughs> On behalf of the group, did anybody else want to answer that? Yeah, we're all, we're all different. Ray, Ray brings in things totally opposite of what I would, and I bring totally opposite, you know, what Chris would. And the influences constantly change, too, so there's nothing really set. You know, I, we really can't pinpoint any bands or anything like that. Mm -hmm. You have a gig at the 23 East, a yes. record release party, and I understand that it's sold out. Yes, it is. That's true. Now, do you guys have, like, big families, or, like, who are all these people that come to your shows? Anyway? We have families of 400 people. That's do how we're really? able to sell out, yes. <laughs> now, who are all your fans? I mean, because I know I saw you at the TLA, and it was sold out. I mean, you rented the entire TLA. I couldn't believe it. Yes. I saw the marquee. I was like, Echo Lynn is having the entire, you know, and you're not even from Center City. So yeah. how did you get, how did you manage to sell that out? Uh, a lot of help. Yeah, a lot of hard, hard work, work and uh, yeah, hard work and people helping us out. It's amazing because just putting that sold out thing up there on the uh, the TLA marquee, we got a lot of phone calls in of people that were like, you know, who are you guys and why are you selling out this TLA? You uh -huh. know, so people came out and you know that of course turned them on and now they're coming out to the 23 East. You know? Yeah, I like the show too. You had like a thing in the back. Uh, yes. Like a big screen. Yeah, like, we hang uh, a big curtain back there, and uh, it just changes the atmosphere a little bit, you know. Yeah, had a couple of things that you would like put slides up there or whatever. Yeah, exactly. We we like to uh, like like we said before, bring the most out of a song, mm -hmm. and uh, of course we try to do that audio wise, but also visually uh, through Ray, you know, running around on the stage, uh, changing mm -hmm. clothes, yeah. uh, and also showing uh, slides and movies. It, it creates a, a lot of atmosphere. Uh huh. Um, you know, for the listener. I thought you had a really good rapport, too, with the audience. Ray mm -hmm. did a lot of that, and uh, I think that's kind of tough to do, but Very, yeah. it seemed like you had that part down. <laughs> yeah, it's, it, it's good to see, you know, a lot of people in the front that you recognize that you could focus on. Past the first five, six rows, you really couldn't see any but, anything mm -hmm. but shadows. Yeah. So it was good to see smiles down front so you can relate to that. Yeah, the people that come out to see us are very supportive, so that makes that, makes that very easy for us. Great. So now we are going to be able to turn on, uh, like, a bunch of Street Beat listeners that show up at the 23 Saturday, and they say that they heard Echo Lynn on Street Beat. They'll get in for free. And it is sold out, so you can't really buy a ticket anyway. So mm -hmm. um, just keep that in mind. If you're listening and you'd like to check them out, they'll be at the 23 this Saturday night in Ardmore. And tell them you heard it on Street Beat, and they'll let you in. Definitely. Sure. All right. Well, I want to thank you for stopping by. Thank, thank you very much. Being thank a guest much. on Street Beat, and good luck with everything. Thank you very Thanks. much, Cindy.